Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the depth of our essence, we say thank you. The beginning of our life to the end of it, we say thank you. Hallelujah to your holy name. Thank to your holy name. We appreciate you specially this morning for the Holy Spirit that you have granted to us. Thank you for the guidance that the Holy Spirit brings. Thank you for the safety that it brings. Thank you for the revelation. Thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. We say thank you. Lord, we thank you for the love you have for us. Thank you for the hatred that you have cancelled on our behalf. Thank you for our enemies that you have silenced on our behalf. Lord, we say thank you. Your holy name. Hallelujah to your mighty name. Hallelujah to the eternal rock of ages. Hallelujah to the El Shaddai. Hallelujah to the Aldonai. Hallelujah to Yahweh himself. Lord, we say take all the glory, take all honor, and take all adorations. In the name of Jesus. That the series Holy Ghost follow me. And we are to purge ourselves out of the wrong teachings of the holy spirit we had to purge ourselves out of the fake that we had been granted but today while i was preparing for this the holy spirit said today is going to be a good day for you and he said i should have been saying that since morning today is going to be a good day for me today is going to be a good day for me he said yes today is going to be a good day for you and it will have a big landmark today is going to be a good day for you and it's going to have a big landmark in the name of jesus but then what the holy spirit does not do we have one left i'm going to go through that before we now go to what i call the titles of the holy ghost so if you are going to be powered by the holy ghost then you have to understand what it does the generator we're using now is being powered by petrol i'd not go and we into it and say you must walk in jesus name i understand how it works if it's a diesel engine then i pour diesel <laughs> I won't say pour water. I saw something also on social media yesterday. I don't know how I take this. this. Fire was burning a shop. These two women stood outside. Instead of carrying water to pour, they were praying that the fire would stop. <laughs> the thing continued to burn. If not that it was a real shop, you would have thought it was comedy. And they were just going, ta -ta 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 -ta. two of them. Oh, carry by do like this. Brethren, fire is burning. Pour water. Or count your loss. Take profit. Ah. We, we, we have gotten to a level we don't know how anything works again. It's just this Holy Spirit they gave to us. Hallelujah. <laughs> and you hear what I said. The one they gave to us. Verse number eight. The Holy Spirit was not given to make people lazy redundant or unreasonable look anything that is not reasonable is not reasonable don't hide it under the holy spirit a lot of useless human beings underline the word useless and pardon my yoruba is because they are lazy unkempt not ready to take responsibility and we hide it under the holy ghost very easy to do like a portion of blame you told me that you are going to marry me Three years we were in a relationship. You have eaten all my apple and finished everything. And then you told me, a Holy Spirit told you to leave me again. You told me you were going to send me some money on Tuesday. I was ready for it by the word of your mouth. And then the Holy Spirit told you you should not give me. Because somebody told you, your mother called you to not help me because my great grandmother offended somebody in your family. And then you do what? I did under the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you standard. Even I'm sure you should have done it before. Because most people don't know the difference between when they are thinking and when the Holy Spirit is speaking. So even if they don't like you, I don't like you if I don't like you. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't need to tell you the Holy Spirit said it. The Holy, I, I said it. I'm a human being. 
but we don't take responsibilities we just hide it because you think the presence of the holy ghost in your life is to do everything while you lay around and become a pensioner every single day the blessings you god told me this 2017 and i've been running with it and if you follow up with what we do in ministry it's set up that way the holy spirit told me he said every single prayer you pray is the source of my problem uh -uh. <laughs> how is my prayer the source of my problem brethren i i now see it clearly it is because you see those days let me cite one simple example i didn't have enough money the prayer i was praying was that god should set me up with something that people can call me for i wasn't praying for money but i was calling for phone calls because if 100 people can call me one day for anything i can monetize that so i said okay so he told me i'm going to do it but are you ready to charge your phone and pick on the calls? oh uh, yes i am very ready now he said you know this thing looks easy are you ready to go to nature three times per week to go and bring the product yes i'm ready then he circled back so this homeschool you are doing for your children how do you undo that Ooh, that's another problem okay how will you undo your wife that you're going to be living every day Ooh, another problem how do you guarantee your safety on fulani road Ooh, another problem your prayer is your problem because you are asking me for what you have not asked you are not checking out you are not asking for the fr behind the aj so the prayer is just one layered look at the 45 layers behind this one before you make this request because this one layer will open the doors for your greatness but it opens the door to multiple problems for years i can't count one person i've offended because i don't do business with anybody there is no point but brethren once just start ministry first and then employ people and then they are not efficient you want to sack them they look at their eyes when you are telling them you are no longer needed there and then three weeks later hear what that person will tell to his friend about you you'll be shocked <laughs> just because you say go that's all you have done but if you don't have a thick skin to hear that somebody say you are the most stupid man in the world and you move on if you are somebody that wants to hold grudges now are you still going to heaven man of god you are no longer going because the number of people you will hold grudges against and fight will be so much and it's easier said than done just ask me very easy to say but the reality is extremely difficult so what people use the holy spirit for now is to part their laziness part their irresponsibility but it and with that it makes it look easy sometimes i know we are faced with problems problems that are heavier than your age and then what do you do what when god told me yeah, is this is in the bible and he said i've trained your hand for war i wish war i'm not in military i know what he trained me for now ah the war is heavy both physical spiritual emotional everything here is war hallelujah war but at the end of the day if you are hiding it under the holy spirit you are going to become one of the most useless christians in the world if there is a tag for that but then i will tell you a story and then we move on because what we are really going today is a little different from this i just wanted to finish what the holy spirit doesn't do and I'm, I use personal experiences. I can't tell you somebody in Kotangura that I don't know. This one happened right to me. I employed someone, a teacher in uh, Montessori school. You know a guy that speaks well and all, you think something is good. Every time I walk past where he's teaching, he will carry motivational book, big, big one like four. Put it on his table and be reading. Oh God, what did I employ you to do here? And then he started whispering, our pastor go to say, make person know what, uh, may you know, read books. I want you to read book, read it at home. I employed you to teach here. Then please kindly teach. After some time, if he sees me coming, he will hide the books, you know, it was sham. I can see that he's still reading, but I, I give you instruction, I give you time to process it. Then he had accommodation issues. So I had to put him somewhere that I have access to like 18 hours or 16 hours in a day. And I'm not kidding you. The only thing this man does is to pray. I'm not, if I'm to give a word for prayer after my dad, is that man I will give. 
I'm a pastor. I'm not supposed to be irritated by prayer. This one, they verse me. <laughs> if you say, let us, brother, listen, oh, let us ask for forgiveness of sin. How do you tararara to ask for forgiveness of sin? <laughs> because absolutely, the Holy Spirit is to make you holy. But now you have committed the sin. Ask God for forgiveness. Lord, I am sorry. I will not do it again. You are still using the Holy Spirit that is pure to ask for forgiveness. I don't understand that. And then the volume of time. Look, if you are successful or you are in ministry, we know that is what it is. You know, I tell you this and understand this, brethren. A tailor, if you are a tailor, your priority is fabrics, sewing, customers. If I'm a pastor, my priority is Bible, prayer, preaching. You cannot live like I live. It's wrong. How are you a teacher and you know nothing about what you teach? You want salaries from that. You want a good life. But what you are doing is praying, fasting, and, and kibashing. Hallelujah. How does that fulfill anything for you? You are wasting your life. If you know you want to be a pastor, do what? Go straight to Bible school or whatever school you want to go. Or if you want to start ministry, just go and open one store and start your own. Hallelujah Ministries International Limited. Whatever. Just start. Nobody abuses anybody in Nigeria for starting a church. And if they abuse you, you go and pick one mentor somewhere and they will help you out. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you, stop wasting your life as if, if you want to be, if you are called for ministry, do the ministry. But the fact that you are matching the characteristics of a pastor inside a furniture man or a laundry man is, is wrong. The Bible was clear about this. And don't ever bring anything out that is not in the Bible as Holy Spirit. Extremely wrong. Is the number one on this scale. Something that the Bible cannot verify. You say you say it's the Holy Spirit. So you now see pastors that will just tell people to eat grass like this. The Holy Spirit said they should be eating this grass. And they will eat it. Well, how does that happen? Verification of the Bible. So this young man, <laughs> every single time, God knows how he embarrasses also. Because I started telling him, Oga, you have time for everything. You cannot do 100 hours prayer over what? What are you praying about? He can't explain. He started looking at me as if, are you sure this one is a pastor? Because he actually came to me. Look at it, though. This same person now came to me and asked me, uh, I should teach him how to make money. So I said, okay, learn graphic design. I put somebody in charge, teach him graphic design so he can learn and probably make money after then he did it for three hours came back to me and said pastor b i want to change vocation help me change to something else i said okay so what do you want to do first thing is look he said holy spirit help me holy spirit help me he, he was in front of me and i was just looking holy spirit help you so what are you doing? he said he will probably be writing articles that is like that one because it's Genesis that destroyed that guy. <laughs> Genesis told him the best skill to learn is article writing. So he, now, he didn't know that we have discussed it too. He now came to me and he said, Holy Spirit, help me. <laughs> Holy Spirit, help me. I said, it's article writing that the Holy Spirit is saying you should do. Something Genesis already discussed that we already discussed. I know you are going to change your vocation. Two hours later. And apparently he thought it was easy because he would look at them when they are smiling and writing it. <laughs> if you are writing articles, it looks very easy. Yeah, just, just to rise uh, our Lord Jesus and then I said okay take this flash drive all the videos are there go and learn it power feed the pastor so to say oh, brother that prays on dead hours buddy. he went back there this one was about 25 minutes later he said pastor are you sure you gave me the right flash I said yes now you saw introduction to article right he said no 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 this one is like PhD I not do it. I said, okay. There are still more skills. What else do you want to learn? I said, you know what? We, we need captionists. People that will be doing captions for our videos. So learn how to do captions. Then I can employ you later. At the end of the day, brethren, to cut the long story short, I got no feeling anything. And as we are saying, every in the office, you give him work up. So at the end of the day, one day God I, I, and I was telling him, this is not how to be. You am cut out to mad. This is not how it is done. Then one day he first scattered the whole process. He came to me and said, I should that uh, the pastor be. 
this thing I want to tell you is man to man between me and him. True life story. Oh. <laughs> the, anything that you are doing that is giving you money, anything that you tell him, he will do it. Ah. Anything I do that I do. You, you understand? Like there is something I do somewhere that is hidden. He said, Pastor B, hey, I should forget that he's praying, you. That he's praying, true to. But that anything, anything, no matter what it takes, he said, man, he will do it. He just wants to have money. Ha. I look at, I know one mention it. I say, yo, bad Like he didn't understand Yoruba, but you know, if I'm pissed, I speak to Yoruba first, then I interpret. Like, are you normal? You are so, like, I have one secret something somewhere that I'm doing. And all this is your prayer now. He said, I should not worry about that. That is money that he wants. That is 34 and he doesn't have anything. I'm telling you, if they say somebody does not have anything, they don't put any name. Just put his name. Ah! I went home and told Mama. I said, Mama, see, this is your teacher at that time. Now, while I'll be this, oh, at the end of the day, as God wants to embarrass the whole process, he now said he had air problem. That air is paining him. You know what I first did? That's how people molest the Holy Spirit. Oh. You know the first thing I told him? I said, pray to it now. Maybe you said, uh, me, I don't know what I'm saying. I said, pray to it. Now the air will go. After about three weeks, the air, no Greek go. He came to me and said, Pastor, me give money. I want to, please help me. I want to go to pharmacy. <laughs> I gave him money. He went, he came back. The air, like joke, like joke. Now the air, make and come out for all the work, office, everything. Now let me tell you the shocking part. The small bag you load where he gets is he say he cannot send my bag to me. Okay, the people you are sending, send money to them for transport. Even if that time Nigeria never scatter like this. Oh, if you want to send that bag, <laughs> the content of that bag, the money for transport will buy what is in that bag now. You know that is about three thousand naira. So you have went away again for about another four or five months. You can't afford three thousand to bring your bag to you. And this is, I'm I know most of us know people like that now. Christians, but they are extremely useless to humanity. They do nothing for anybody. You are not providing any service. You are not doing anything. So if we are to categorize you, you are the multi-millionaire in the spirit that is a like, poor. So let's use Lazarus again because we have a popular pastor that is now Lazarus. And he's doing well. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you can't say Lazarus, no get money again. Lazarus, don't, don't, uh, what, what did you always call that thing? That he has changed. There's one trend that went on. It's not established. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lazarus has established. So don't ever think that the presence of the Holy Ghost in your life is to do the job of men. 